fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at trains, stations, and railways. Um, and we've got a different map for this. We're going to have a dedicated train map. Now, uh, what I'm using on uh, right now is that you can see the graphics are a little bit different than what it has previously. That is because I'm using the Z-Base graphics pack. Apart from that, there are no other mods installed, so let's crack on with the tutorial. First things first, up here in the right hand corner sort of area where all your different construction options are, this first one up here that looks like railway track is to build railway track. So let's click that. And there you are, railway construction tab pops up. Here it is. So let's actually look for a place where we can do an example, a little example. Yeah, let's do it here. Okay, here we go. So first of all, we have uh, the different pieces of track. You've got uh, diagonal pieces of track like this, and straight pieces, and diagonal the other way, and straight the other way. They're all well and good to use. Uh, this bomb tool removes anything that you swipe over, including trees, uh, sometimes roads, uh, if the town will let you, uh, but not things like this sawmill. Won't let you get rid of that. Um, but this one here, next to the other track, is the multi-tool. It builds track uh, using the auto rail mode. Okay, so you can see here, as I'm scrolling my mouse around, it moves into a different pattern across the four different ones that we've already looked at. So we can use that to build track in different directions, like this. Quite nice. So, uh, track is what the trains go along. They need to go to and from stations, and that's this one here. Okay, so if we click the station button, we get this rail station options. And you can see uh, it's similar in some ways to the way that we've uh, been doing road vehicles and other ones. We have our catchment area. So, uh, to begin with, we're just doing basic trains today. So we're going to have one track, and we'll choose a platform length of a pro... Well, let's choose platform length four. You can see there is a drag and drop option here, so you can actually just drag and drop your own different size of station, but we're not going to be doing that right now. Let's turn that off. And of course, as always, you can turn the coverage area on and off. I always leave it on so you can see what you're grabbing. Let's start over here in Plenbridge. Okay, so... Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to press X on the keyboard and that makes everything transparent so I can see where I'm placing this building. Sorry, placing this station. I can see behind the building. And I figured that I want to get this station nice and close to this town so we can get as much of the town in the catchment area as possible and all we do is put it where we want it and click and there it is. So if I just uh, press X again you can see there's the station behind the town. But the train needs to cut. We need another station for our train to go between. So I'm going to put one in over here as well. And I feel in this corner is probably a nice place to put it. So we'll just click, and in it goes. Another station. Right, we need to join these stations up properly now. I'm going to press de uh, del to uh, delete on the keyboard to clear the screen. And I'm going to press A on the keyboard. The A on the keyboard brings up the railway construction, if it's not already open, and your auto tool which is a very nice shortcut. So let's take that and just fill that in there. So we connect that station up. By the way, there'll be more in short, uh, more about shortcuts uh, and a dedicate, dedicated episode for shortcuts later in this series. Now, we want to connect this station up over here, so I'm going to do a diagonal to there and pop a bit of track in there. And there we go. This is the most basic sort of train track network. Uh, but we, we need somewhere to get the trains. And similar to road vehicles, who have road vehicle depots, we have rain, uh, railway depots. And that's this icon here. So if we click that, you can see we've got four different orientations to choose from. And these just can be placed uh, anywhere you like, actually. If I place one over here, you can see there it is. It just sits there. However, if I place it next to track like this, you can see it joins itself to the track that it's next to. Uh, if I face it in the wrong direction like this, it will not join it. See, if I put transparency on with X, you can see there's no track behind the depot. So, uh, let's remove the depots we don't need. I'm going to press the D key for the bomb tool. There we go. And uh, there we go. So we've got two stations and a depot in the middle. 
Now we need a train. So we click on the depot, similar to buses, and bring up the depot. This is the, the depot window. We go near vehicles. Now, unlike with road vehicles, we have to build a train. Okay, so you have to start with the engine and then choose carriages and stuff. So let's choose this uh, steam engine here, just to pick a random steam engine. Click, highlight it and click buy vehicle. There we go. And we're going to be transporting passengers between these two different towns. So if we scroll down, we can see we've got a passenger carriage. So let's get a couple of them. Now, the, another good thing about trains, apart from them, they can be quite long and carry a lot of passengers and stuff in one trip. So let's put another one in there. And we can also put a mail van. There we are. We've got a couple of mail vans on the end. We can transport multiple commodities with the same train. Quite an interesting thing to do. But getting it right is quite an advanced thing. But... For now, uh, if we click on this station here, you can see it accepts passengers and mail. And uh, once we have trains there, it will also give passengers and mail. Same over here. In fact, both of them accept goods as well, but we're not doing that today. So if I press delete on my keyboard to clear it, uh, we can then bring up the trains window. Now, up here at the top of the bar, this displays the company's trains. It's the next to the trains, buses, ships and planes. So we click that. And here it is. We can see a list of trains. We only have one train at the moment. Train number one. There it is. So this train window here is very similar to the windows we see with the buses and so forth. We've got a number of options. Uh, we can uh, click this button to go to the train. So if we're not looking where the train is, if we're looking somewhere else and we have this window up, we can click this. It takes us to the train. If we want to clone the train, we'll click that later. And we'll talk more about cloning vehicles and orders and so forth later on. This button here tells it to ignore the signal it's at. More about signals later. Uh, this one's greyed out because you can refit, refit different types of trains to different types of cargo. That's a little bit more advanced. We'll look at that later in tutorials. For now, we're going to use... Oh, and also down here, there's the train details one. So you can see different things about how many passengers are in it, information about the vehicles, how much they're worth, the capacities and how much cargo is in there and so forth and the speed and the horsepower and the age all quite good so but we're going to be using this one trains orders and we've done orders before so we're going to click go to and we're going to tell it to go to this station by clicking on it and then we're going to click go to again and tell it to go to this station by clicking on it there well there's only really one thing left to do and that's click on the stopped bar down here to start the train there's a couple of other ways you can start the train we could click this little green button here. That starts every single train you have, but at the minute that's just this one. Or you could go into the depot and click this X here. That will start it. Or the green button down here, which will start everything in that depot. We're just going to click here, and you can see it says head into its destination. It gives us the speed. And there's our steam train. Out of its depot, it comes out the depot and goes along the line. This is the most basic type of railway you can do in OpenTTD. Now, you can see now the train's visited that place once. It's registered that uh, there is a passenger service there, and it's given us a number of passengers, and also a number of bags of mail. Here at Menfingfield, we haven't got anything yet, because the train hasn't visited. Train's about to visit, pulls into the station, turns around once it gets to the end, and of course we've got passengers waiting now. So now the train's registered itself at the stations, it will come back to the first station and load up. If we look at the orders, we can see that we haven't got any special orders on it yet. We'll look at that later on. Oh, now the train has just broken down outside the station. That's what that noise was, and you can see it says here, broken down. If a train breaks down, it blocks the line, and that can be a very bad thing, and we'll look later on in the tutorials about how to get round trains and how to best deal with that. And so now the train is just loading at the station, it's picking up its passengers, we can click this information button, by the way clicking on the train itself also brings up the train window, and there's the information, we can see it's nearly full of everything, it's full of passengers and it's got quite a lot of mail on there. So when it comes to the other end, which we'll be able to see in a moment, in it comes, there we go. You can see it's unloading, and we'll find out exactly how much money it's going to make for that little journey. I wouldn't expect it to be too much. And just unloading, and 1,600. A nice little profit. You can see here, profit this year, it's in the plus. It's making money. Well, uh, what other thing can I tell you about trains? Well, when a train is moving around, you can follow it. If you bring up the train window by clicking on the train, you can press control on your keyboard and click the arrow buttons. 
Normally that would take you to the train, but if you're holding control, it will follow the train, which is actually a quite a nice little feature. Generally not useful day to day, uh, but it's good for... Now, the train just broke down again. That's a very breaky down train. Now, as you can see, this is a steam train, right? And when we were at the depot and we were looking at new vehicles, there are other types of trains available as well. And the trains available to you depend on the date. So you start with steam, then you move on to having diesel trains, and later you'll have electric and monorail and maglev trains available. Now, if you want to build any of the different lines, so for example, this line here is just for steam trains and diesel trains. If you want to build one that's capable of build, uh, carrying electric trains, it needs the overhead power rails. So what we do is we click and hold on the build railway track icon at the top and go down to electrified railway. And then we get electrified railway construction bar, which is exactly the same. The only difference is, is that when we build the railway, it puts electric rail above it and we can have electric trains. Same with the depots. We've got a depot which is capable of handling electric trains. If we look in the depot over here and go to new vehicles, you can see it only gives us the option of steam and diesel trains. If we click on this depot and go to new vehicles, we have steam, diesel and electric because steam and diesel trains can still use the ones with the overhead rails as well. Okay, so that's the basics of the basic route. Uh, what if we want to do some other things? Let's pretend we need to go through... Oh, where is it? There's not a lot of hills in this map, but let's just put a hill in. Let's just delete... Uh, let's just move this depot further down. Move the depot. There we go. That's fine. Let's get rid of this bit. Now let's say, for example, there is a hill here. Right in the way. Big fat hill. And, oh, well, we could go over it. We could drag our auto tool and go over the hill. Okay? But big hills can slow some trains down, especially slow and long and old trains. So what we can do is we can replace this with a tunnel. Now, we need to remove this track to do that. To remove track, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can have the track tool selected like I have now and then click this remove icon. It's the little digger. And then you can see it turns red and we can strip out track like that. Okay. You can then just remove track. You can't do anything else if there's no track, but if there's track there, it will remove it. Okay. And if we click the digger again, it goes back to standard building of track. The other way to do it is a, a nice quick way is to either hold control on the keyboard. You can see it turns red and you can remove items then. Okay. But you have to hold it down or you can toggle it with the R key on your keyboard and just swipe over there and toggle it back again with the R key. Okay, so that's how to remove track. We've removed that piece of track we put over the hill and we're going to put in a tunnel. There's again, two ways you can do this. You can either click on the tunnel icon up here and that brings up the tunnel tool or you can press T on your keyboard. To use the tunnel tool, it's the same as when we have a look with road vehicles. You just place the tunnel on the side of the slope and you can see it builds across the hill to the other side. You can do it on either side. You could do it that way, but that's not where we want it. Let's just put it there like that. And there's our tunnel. Now you can see because we have electrified railway construction, we actually have an electric uh, tunnel. Well, that doesn't matter. I mean, we could have done it anyway. Um, and if we want to convert that, we can do. And I will do converting. Well, we'll do it now, seeing as we've got, we're talking about it. So uh, let's pretend that we want to start running electric trains on our railway as well. We've got this button at the end here, the Convert and Upgrade tool. If we're on a railway construction, okay, there is a Convert and Upgrade tool here, but of course, it's a kind of a downgrade. So let's click that. And if we swipe over this here, you can see the electrified rails disappear. If I do the same on the tunnel, the electrified part disappears. And this now goes back down to standard rail. If we go to electrified rail construction and do this, do the same like this, swipe over it, you can see it's putting the electric, uh, the electric power lines over the top. It's now electric. So you can convert it backwards and forwards. A very nice and easy way of doing it without having to rebuild your whole track system over again. Let's just put that back to standard railway because we've always got a steam train. On there. there we go. Okay, and then the last one we've got to talk about is bridges. So if I just make a massive great big hole here, let's pretend there's a little lake. Okay, let's just go like this, like that, and okay. So we've got a little lake, 
And we, we, we can't build track through a lake. I okay, go, just pretend there's water down there for now, folks. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll make a lake. There we go. We've, we've got our tutorial lake now. We've got our tutorial lake. So our train needs to go across the lake. What do we do? Uh, we use a bridge. So we select the bridge from the bridge construction, put it on the side, drag it ourselves over, and we can choose to have a bridge. So we can click on whichever one we want, and there it is. Now, if in later times you want to upgrade a bridge, you don't have to delete it and then replace it. You can just get the bridge tool again, click on the bridge, and it will bring up the uh, bridge options again, and you can choose the one you want it to be. So we can click Gerda, and there you are. It's upgraded. So there is the basic railways uh, from one using just one train backwards and forwards. There is a way you can make it slightly more complicated. Uh, <laughs> but we will look at more complicated stuff next time. So there you are. There's the rail basics. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And we will be looking at intermediate railways and advanced railways in the futures. We will be looking at passing places, signals, multi-line, multi-tracks, waypoints and all sorts of other things. Thank you very much for watching and a link to the playlist is in the description below so you can check out all the videos in this series. But that's all from me for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.